chasing a check, dropping the top, riding the vet, feeling myself, what you expect, you know I'm with it, no better feeling cause I could've quit but I didn't, 007 when I'm on a mission, moving it up to a better position. What's going on YouTube, Charles Hutchinson here, and a video that I know everybody will love to see is this new Motive Evoke versus Little 3.0. Why not do it? Um, and then we also got the radical hitter. Did they all kind of fit in that, not the top or the biggest bowling ball, but some, like somewhere step below. Um, all asymmetric uh, covers and cores uh, with solid cover socks. So again, of course we got the HK22 on that Widow. And now, you know, we'll see what this Evoke is all about. You already saw that initial video, um, compared to the Ghost and the Black Venom. This was definitely earlier. So I'm very, very curious to see how it stacks up. Again, there's some new uh, weight block technology Technology that they incorporated into this ball um, and also a new cover stock. So, hey man, Motive putting out a lot of stuff and we got the beach ball. So hopefully, again, they stack up favorably against each other, man. Maybe they're close, maybe they're farther apart. I'm going to put them on a lane, you guys can tell. Uh, but as always, man, we're in South Florida, Bolero Tamarack, shout out to, again, the team, they able to give me some lanes. Uh, but yeah, man, we're gonna check out these three. And then, again, Bowler, Bowler's Edge Pro Shop. Get down here, you know, and for all other needs, bowlersmart.com, they got you covered. Best way to support the channel, use those links. Uh, sorry about the kids, they mad loud right now. But we love the kids, but they loud. But let's bowl. All right, so, I'm gonna start with the Vogue. And this thing, again, is crazy colored. Super crazy. Uh, so let's check it out. Let's see what we gonna do. I'm good so far. All right, first shot with the Evoke. Let's see what we can do. One more. Move a little left. Ah, yeah. I like that. Still smooth. Like it, that didn't look crazy sharp. Um, as I move left, it just kind of saw it and kept going. It's not bad. All right, do a little straighter. Oh, that's gonna be forward off my hand. Oh man, that's a me thing, not the ball. Pretty close. Look pretty close. Go one more with the widow and pick the boat back up. Oh, that's gonna go. I didn't let off and it didn't. They might be on to something. They 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 might might be on to some motive. I'm gonna jump a little further left to 25 with the evoke. Alright, so it struck, it definitely deflected, but I'm asked it to do a little bit more. Um, and I guess could have been a little more aggressive with my hand as well. But before we get to there, let me pick up the hitter. <laughs> Hitter, hitter. All right, let's stay a little straighter. Much cleaner. So evoke a little bit earlier. Widow, you know, next earliest and clean. 
with the uh, hitter. That was crazy. All right, seeing that, I'm gonna go to 20, see what we get from the hitter. I see why folks was like, oh, the hitter's in that Envy Tour family. It's definitely giving me that advice, but like a little bit more down lane. Like, the Envy Tour hooks for sure, but this seems to really have some giddy up. <laughs> oh yeah, you see the shoes too. KR Strike Force Alphas, drop 25. I definitely don't throw this hitter a lot. I might need to. This, this is crazy. All right, so I'm gonna go to the Evoke, get 25, then we go back to the Widow. Okay, got a little more forward off my hand, and it definitely did not crush through the pocket, which is not all that surprising, but let's see if I can make a better shot. All right, let me get aggressive. Aggressive. where that hitter had a much stronger change of direction down lane. This one isn't quite doing that. And I probably can slow the speed down and really try to help it. Um, but that's get a difference. I feel like this is definitely, again, just earlier, like overall. But let's pick up the widow. All right, 25 with the widows. Widow, 100%. Still more down lane. They got a lot to do with just that Widow core being legendary and not a lot compares to that. Uh, so, it's, it's a Widow. But I think as far as like, if I was bowling on, you know, a little bit higher friction, and I might even bring the Evoke up a little bit in surface. Um, this is going to give me a very, very good look on the lane. Uh, that's something that's not going to over penalize me. That I'm always going to leave something makeable with it. So I like that. And a widow is like, okay, get left. Or I just really want to see something go. It's a widow. It's a lot. I really got on it, and that's what it did. I'm gonna do the same thing with the Evoke, and we're gonna get ready to wrap this up. And if I didn't mention, this does have my new layout. I was like five and a quarter uh, over. And so this is like pinned up on my bridge where all my other stuff was like pinned directly like over my, my ring finger, which it was like a four and a half inch pin. So just want you to keep that in mind. All right, so. One more with this Evoke. That's just it. Like, that is just such a good arcing. If I'm bowling anything tough, like I typically want to bring out a lot of these motive pieces. They typically give me a little more control. I know I keep saying typically, but typically, 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 typically. But anyway, <laughs> this is looking good. Um, the long, a little bit longer pin, I'm seeing a little more motion, a little more continuation. I like it. Um, yeah, that widow is still just like sharper and the hitter is just that much longer than what this evoke is. So, <sighs> hope you guys enjoyed it. A lot of work. Until next time, guys. Exit music. Counting it up, forming a plan. Ain't buying no chain till I buy me some land. Making a way to buy my estate. Boat on the lake, plus one in the bay. What can I say? I want it all.